hi guys welcome back in this video i will teach you how to master the photoshop gradient tool to create unique backgrounds and amazing photos please look in the description below and download the resource files so to begin please note that i'm using adobe photoshop 2023 in photoshop there are two places where you can find your gradient tool under your toolbar you will typically have a paint bucket option but when you click on that little uh, rectangle next to it it will give you more options and you can choose your gradient tool apart from that location you can also find your gradient on the right hand side of your workspace you, we are going to click on our background image and we want to make sure we unlock our image in your property tab you will see a quick action under your quick action you will see remove background click on that now sometimes if you bring in an image and it is not a smart object you will not see the remove background but rather you will see another command that says convert to layers so once you convert that to layers then photoshop will give you the option to remove background once you click on remove background photoshop takes it for you we want to go ahead and apply a basic gradient background so we are going to click on our plus icon which will give us a new layer so we want to make sure our new layer is below our subject so you want to pull your layer and drop it below your image layer now when you see that line it means that you can release so we can double click on it and name this background we want to click on our gradient the default is a solid to a transparent we want to go into our gradient options to choose a different color I'm going to choose this pink and orange color draw one line from one end of your screen to the other now notice that even though i picked a solid color it still looks like it's a transparent gradient and the reason is because our mode is on screen so we need to make sure that we set our mode to normal we are going to go ahead and apply it again if we want to change up our gradient we can go ahead and choose another color and do the same thing i want to show you a much faster way that you can apply your gradient to your background so you can go up to your gradient options on your right hand side and you can choose any gradient option that you want now notice that in your layers panel it gave you a new layer with that gradient now if i don't like that gradient option anymore i can turn off the visibility and i get back my original gradient now what if i want to just change up the color now with your gradient thumbnail activated you can go up to all the different gradient colors you have and you can just toggle in between just to see the one that you like let's say that we don't like any of the options that have been provided for us so we want to go ahead and set our own unique precepts you want to double click on your gradient thumbnail the gradient fill will be activated for you you want to go ahead and click on your gradient so let's say that all the options i see and the precepts are not what i like click on your color stop and you can go ahead and choose a different color and you can click ok and we are going to also change the end color and we're going to click OK. What if I want a three tone? You can do that by holding down your options. It will make a duplicate and we can set that in the middle. We can go ahead and choose a different color. So if I want, let's say a pink in the middle like that. So let's say that I like this precept It's unique and I don't have it in the default precepts that photoshop provides so what you can do is you can go ahead and save it as a custom so you can always go back and use it so i'm going to click on new and notice that it just added it right here now can you rename it yes i can go ahead and name it new precept and i can click ok the other thing that you can do with the gradient is that you can change up your angle 
of the gradient. So as I move my angle, I create a whole different effect for the background. Now I can click on the reverse. So the color that was on top now shows on the bottom. I can also go ahead and increase my scale or decrease my scale. There are different styles. So currently we have it on linear. We can set it to radar and you can also have the angle gradient as well as the reflective diamond. I want to go ahead and show you another thing that you can do applying the gradient onto your image. So I'm going to go to the top layer and I'm going to click on the thumbnail of our subject. We are going to right click and say apply layer max. We want to go ahead and add a layer max. Go to the bottom of your layers panel and click and add a layer max to your layer. We want to pick up our gradient tool and we want to change the color. We're going to go ahead and choose the foreground to background. Draw a line from top to bottom just like this. So to add a little bit more, you start from the middle and you go that way. So we're going to click on our background and I'm going to pick up my crop tool. We want to enlarge our canvas. So I'm going to hold one end like that and I'm going to open this end as well and make sure that you are on the background layer. Now at the top, you have the options to use a content aware. So guys, we want to go ahead and add in a text. So I'm going to pick up my type tool and we want our text to be right behind our subject. So I'm going to pick up my type tool and I'm going to go ahead and type in glasses. I'm going to highlight and change the color to white, pick up my move tool and I'm going to go ahead to scale it and I'm going to set it right behind just like that. So let's say that we want to add a gradient effect to our text. A very easy way is to just go up to your color options and you can choose any color that you like. We want our text to pop. We can double click on our glass layer. The layer style will come up. We can add a drop shadow and we can basically increase our spread. So guys, I want to show you how you can apply a gradient to your image to enhance it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop in a gradient that I picked up online and I'm just going to rotate this. So we're just going to hold down our shift and we are going to rotate, double click to accept. Now we are going to set this at one corner of our image and we are going to pull this all the way down. Now we want to go ahead and change the blend mode and we are going to go ahead and set this to color. Now you can see this is the before and this is the after. You notice a dramatic change. We're going to pick up our brush tool and you want to make sure that your brush size is a little bit smaller. So you use your left or your right bracket depending on how big your brush is to make it either bigger or smaller. Now, we also want to make sure that our foreground color is black. Now, when we are working with layer max, black hides white reveals. Expose some portion of our subjects just like that. So guys, you can see this is the before and this is the after. So you can quickly enhance your image. Now, the next image is the same thing. So I'm going to drag and drop this in and I'm going to set that right there, just like we did before. Double click and we want to change our blend mode to color. So once we've chosen the color, we can basically add a layer max and we are going to increase our brush so we can basically reveal some portions of our subject. So the next thing I want to do to enhance this photo is I want to go under image, adjustment, brightness and contrast. I'm going to increase the contrast so I get a rich image and I'm going to click OK. This is the before. Now this is the after. A very dramatic look. 
So guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, and if you're new, please subscribe, share this with your friends so that this video can reach many more people. Bye y'all.